up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video I have been wanting for the longest to sit down and film this video for you but my life has been literally all over the place I'm gonna say for the last month month and a half um, there's a couple of different things that I want to cover in this video for you for those of you that do not follow me on Instagram please do I'm gonna put a little uh, you know like the little words right here <laughs> guys I am so out of the loop I feel like I used to, like this used to come to me, one, two, three. I used to sit down and film, I would say about three times a week. And now that I do it maybe once a month, I'm definitely rusty. So I forgot all the terminology. Sometimes I still get nervous in front of the camera. Not really because I really don't visualize like I'm talking to a camera. So many of you guys keep in touch with me and have for years and years. So I feel like I'm talking to a bunch of friends. But anyway, if you do not follow me on Instagram, please do. I will put the tag. I will put the my at name right here and I will also link it down below um, since I'm not that great at consistently uploading here on YouTube I will let you guys know that I am constantly uploading on Instagram as well as the live stories snapchat not so much I don't know if it's just me that fell off or if Instagram kind of fell off same thing with Facebook um, I'm just always on Instagram and that's where you guys will find out everything first side note a lot of you guys have been commenting on these babies right here. Uh, you guys seriously crack me up because you mentioned the video that I came out with, I believe, about five years ago now, um, how to fake a boob job at home. And I showed you guys how to highlight and contour and use two different types of bras and stick socks in them and crisscross the back of your bra straps and literally make an A cup look like a double D cup. I'm gonna link that video down below if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but so many of you have referenced that on my Instagram saying that I definitely don't need to do any of those tricks anymore. And you guys are so right because I'm trying to be like so modest unless I like take my cardigan and like wrap it all the way around me um, but yes these are a gift from my son and I definitely want to show them off while they're here I'm not sure if they're going to last I went from pretty much an A cup to a full C almost D and I heard that when the milk comes in that they're gonna get even bigger and you guys I'm so happy because I'm not gonna lie being small chested has always been an insecurity of mine and I am loving them so and chance that I have to you know give a little a little bit of cleavage it's like whoa I'm not even used to this but even on days when I'm not even trying to show cleavage like today there's still a little something something there but I'm not complaining I'm about to be a mama now so we got to keep it classy I did a little poll on Instagram to see what it was that you guys want to see coming up as far as my videos a lot of you want to hear more about the pregnancy and I know that this is not a mom channel this is not a pregnancy channel it started off as a makeup channel and then fashion hair lifestyle all that kind of came into play um, I'm not really a hundred percent positive what direction my channel is going to be going in it's just I feel like I go through so many phases in my life and this is what my life is about right now every single day pretty much revolves around my pregnancy and that's definitely something that I want to share with you guys so a lot of you wanted a recap of the first trimester the second trimester you want to know the types of cravings that I'm having and you know the ups and downs of pregnancy and just my experience in a whole was that English and as as a whole I guess English is hard you guys and I do plan on rolling those videos out next for you guys but a lot of you guys wanted to also hear about my wedding which surprise if you don't follow me on Instagram yes we did get married um, I have been married for about one month now just short of a month so I'm gonna talk about that in this video and a lot of you guys have been requesting I guess it's like a tag video that has been going around on YouTube or was popular back in the day on YouTube I know that I watched a ton of these videos before we narrowed down our baby name a lot of you guys want to hear the baby names that we love but will not be using and I will say that in the future we absolutely want to have more than one child and if we have another son I definitely believe that his name will be coming off of that list because these names I absolutely love them we just agreed on our name about two weeks ago 
and it was the hardest decision ever because there are so many names that I love. So anyway, I have a pretty long list and I want to just jump into that because I don't like when people, you know, they'll like stay on every single name for like three solid minutes and I'm like, all right, I just want to know the names. I want to see if I can get an idea from you so that I'm going to save that for the end of the video basically is what I'm trying to say. Holy crap, Lee, you are all over the place. So for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know pretty much anything about my wedding. I think I did. I did bring up to you guys that Hector did propose to me on Christmas and we got married on March 14th of this year and it was such a beautiful beautiful memory for me I wanted to be able to share some pictures with you guys without having you know an entire video just about the wedding because I know that there's a couple of different things that you guys want to hear about so basically what I can recap for you is when we got pregnant we were not engaged um, and once we found out that we were pregnant, we definitely knew that we wanted to get married before our baby was here. Just do it the traditional way. I do want to say that there's a disclaimer. This is just what we wanted, um, what we envisioned for ourselves. If you did not have this type of wedding, um, or if you got married by a judge, or if you waited until after your child was here, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's just not what we envisioned for our wedding. Um, again, with that being said, we knew that we wanted to be married before our baby was here and we're not working with that much time and we knew we wanted it to be a very special memory we wanted a baby moon a honeymoon we wanted to share it with family we didn't really want to just go to town hall and get married in front of a judge we wanted something that was a little bit more memorable than that for us and we do both come from very religious backgrounds so we knew that we wanted a person of God basically to perform our wedding. So that's exactly what we had done and also we wanted to save as much money as possible because having a baby is definitely very expensive. There's gonna be a lot of expenses coming up and we did not wanna throw thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 at a wedding for just one day. So my mom actually suggested that we went to Vegas to go get married. And at first, I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, I'm like, Vegas, like the first thing that I thought of was like those corny Elvis weddings. Again, you guys, I'm so sorry. I feel like I have to disclaim everything. Not that there's anything wrong with the Elvis weddings or the themed weddings, but for me, I just, I wanted it to be a religious ceremony. I wanted it to be very intimate. I didn't want it to be cheesy or corny. I wanted it to really feel like an act or a promise that we were making in front of God. So when my mom first suggested that, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure about that. But then I started doing a lot of research. I watched videos here on YouTube, um, and I just used the internet to find different types of wedding venues in Vegas. I started looking into hotels, into ticket prices, pricing everything out. I ended up stumbling across weddings at Caesars Palace. So we ended up staying at Caesars Palace, and then we got married at a chapel called the Chapel of Flowers I believe and they were really known for their photography um, for all their backdrops. Caesars Palace was one of the top rated hotels that I came across and it just had these gorgeous statues these gorgeous fountains it was just a jaw dropping hotel it was absolutely gorgeous and it was still pretty much affordable it was in the range of what we were looking to spend and then as far as the chapel that we got married at because there are so many different chapels that you can get married at in vegas there's even a drive through chapel which i thought was crazy like there's literally every single theme you can think of you can get married you can find a chapel in vegas that caters to that theme. Um, but again, I was just looking for something very um, religious, very sentimental, um, very like classic, and that's exactly what I found at the Chapel of Flowers. They had so many different backdrops for different pictures. I'm going to insert a couple of pictures now um, of our actual ceremony. So we ended up going to Vegas, me and him, my parents and his parents. And in the beginning, I was like, oh, are we going to really just do this with just our parents? I was really afraid of hurting a lot of our friends' feelings, some of our family members' feelings. But you know what? At the end of the day, I was like, this day is for us. This is a day that we are committing ourselves to each other in front of God. And it really doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. We don't have the money for a huge, big ceremony, but we still wanted to do something special. So my dad did walk me down the aisle. It was very, very romantic, very sentimental. There was a lot of tears from me, from him, from my mom, from his mom. Honestly, it was just the perfect day. 
and after our ceremony we went back to our hotel and like I told you guys there's just so many gorgeous like picture op opportunities just backdrops at the hotel that we stayed at we went around and we just took a bunch of pictures at the hotel and after that we kind of had our little baby moon slash honeymoon so even though we went with our parents they were basically just there for the ceremony for the day that we got married and then it was just us the two of us together enjoying the rest of our vacation so we went to the Grand Canyon together we just went around and explored Vegas as a at that time I was six and a half months pregnant so as a pregnant woman um, walking around Vegas you know it's not like we were drinking and partying or living it up or anything like that to be honest with you guys I was like am I kind of wasting a trip to Vegas because I can't even have a drink and I was like am I gonna be bored I don't really like to gamble neither does he but there was just so many different things to do so much sightseeing we were so out of it by the last day we were walking something like six miles a day which I don't know how I did that you guys I really like I don't know but yeah you guys again I just want to say for any of you that are engaged or planning on becoming engaged and thinking about how to put a wedding together um, and not wanting to spend thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars on a wedding. There are a lot of people that go to Vegas to get married and they bring their family and friends with them. We just chose to do it a lot more intimate with just our parents. But I will tell you guys that we saved so much money. It was still very, very memorable. We have gorgeous pictures. We had our baby moon slash honeymoon all in one and I have nothing but amazing things to say and I felt like I was taking such a huge chance on getting married in Vegas because I didn't really know what to expect. You know, we're New Yorkers. We did have a wedding planner but everything was over the phone and over FaceTime and you know, it was a little bit intimidating for me but at the end of the day, we spent a few thousand dollars on our wedding and Honestly, I have such a wonderful memory of it and I do not regret my decision at all for us to get married in Vegas. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and roll into my little baby boy name list. And again, like I told you guys, our future baby, if we have another son, will definitely, his name will be picked from this list because I absolutely love these names. Before I jump into this, I want to show you guys our last sonogram because we were able to get a 4D sonogram and see our baby's face and oh my god you guys he's just the cutest little thing already. I cannot believe that in 10 short weeks he will be here. When I, I came to that realization I'm like 10 weeks that is literally right around the corner. So right now we're at the stage of planning our baby shower, um, just gathering a bunch of things for as far as furniture and baby clothing and putting a lot of things on our registry. My mom is telling me that we shouldn't go too crazy until after the baby shower because of course a lot of our family and friends are gonna buy gifts and she's telling me not to go crazy just yet but it's so hard to resist the temptation. Anytime I go into a store where there's baby stuff, like I'm automatically a magnet to it. And I'm just so excited you guys. I seriously just can't wait. Okay, so anyway, I love these names so much. As far as the name that we did decide on for our baby boy, I believe I'm going to wait until he's actually born to announce him to you guys and to officially announce his name. I feel like I just want to do it in a special way instead of just, you know, blurting out his name. So I have 20 names here, you guys, and you guys know that I talk, so I'm not, I'm going to try my hardest not to stick on each name for like two, three minutes. So let's just roll through this list and if any of you are pregnant maybe you can pull some inspiration from our names or maybe give some suggestions because I feel like I have a taste in baby boy names I just don't know I can't put my finger on it I feel like I like strong names names that are a little bit different and stand out I don't want there to be you know four other boys with the same name in his classroom anyway so let's talk about these names so the first one is Prince I loved this name and me and Hector had such a hard time agreeing on names so these names are so special to us because I'm very picky he's very picky and these are pretty much names that both of us got along and we said that we could consider Prince when we decided to tell our friends about it oh my god they just had like a heyday they said that he would be made fun of in school um, that it was too different. Nobody liked it. Like literally nobody liked it. And that broke 
both of our hearts. Um, we were thinking of Prince or Princeton and nobody liked it. And I know they say don't share names because people are just going to like tear them apart. Um, so that's you, what the name that we decided. It's like we're keeping it between just the two of us until he's here because I love it. He loves it. We don't want anybody to rain on our parade. So yes, Prince, that one was pretty much knocked out. The second name is a name that I feel like I have had picked out since I was maybe like four years old. I think every single girl has one and it's the name Dominic. I love that name so much. I feel like it's so strong. It's so manly and I really like the name Dom as a nickname for Dominic. The next name is Ace. I feel like it's such a cool like sporty name. Um, my mom was like Ace, all like Ace Hardware, and once she said that, I was like, okay, now I can't get that out of my head, so, yeah. The next name is Antonio. I feel like this is also a name that I have loved since forever. I pictured that I always would want to have a baby boy with the name Antonio, but now that the time is actually here, I feel like I can't see myself with an Antonio. And the same thing for the next name, I just feel like... I don't envision it and the next name is Sergio I love that name I feel like I might like it a little bit more as a middle name um, so yeah it's so weird it's like I picture this my whole life and now that the time is actually here I'm like eh, I don't know next name is one that my family okay I'm the one that thought of this name okay like I suggested it my family loved it his family loved it and this was the baby's nickname for a while and then i was the one that was like oh, you know what like i just i don't think i like it anymore at first i was obsessed with it and i feel like i was trying to convince everybody to like it and then once everybody fell in love with it and started calling the baby by this name I didn't like it anymore and that is the name Oliver and I don't want to say it like that it's not even that I don't like it anymore let me explain to you guys basically I feel like Oliver is really really cute for a little baby boy for a toddler as a grown man I don't know I don't really like it that much I feel like maybe it's a little bit nerdy and it's cute for a younger boy but as a grown man Oliver I don't know Next name I absolutely love and I will say that 90% chance my next son, if God blesses us with another son, this will be his name because I tried so hard to get Hector to be in love with this name and he was just not having it and that's because of The Bachelor and all he could think about was The Bachelor because we were obsessed with watching the last season of The Bachelor together and that was The Bachelor's name. It wasn't going to be after him but I mean... I just love this name so much and it's the name Colton. I feel like I really like like little cowboy sounding names um, and it's uh, I just I don't know what to say about it. I just love that name so much. I could see myself with the little Colton. I think it's adorable for a baby boy. I think it's great for a grown man and oh, I, I want to name my baby Colton but Hector does not like it and I tried so hard to convince him but to no avail. Next name is Donovan, another one that I really love. I just feel like I want to be able to have a name that has cute nicknames as well. And I feel like if his name was Donovan, that people are going to call him Donnie for short, and I don't I don't like the way that Donnie sounds. So, yeah. Next is a name that also has been on my list since forever, since I was a little girl dreaming up baby names, and that's the name Austin. The only thing that I don't like about Austin is I think some people might associate it with Austin Powers. Other than that, I love the name for a little boy. I love it for a grown man. I definitely feel like it's a name that can carry him into his adulthood. I just don't like that people might think of Austin Powers and there might be jokes because coming up as somebody with a, a name that's like different, my name is Lee, on my birth certificate it's Lee, L-E-E. -E. It was my dad's middle name and his dad's middle name and then they just decided to name me Lee. A lot of people, um, you know, would joke about it, say, oh, like Jet Lee, like Chung Lee. So many jokes about my name Lee. I actually used to hate it. I hated my name growing up and I really wish that I had like a common name like Jennifer or Sally or just like a name that would help me to fit in more but now as an adult I will say that I like my name I feel like it's different um, I still do get a lot of mail addressed to me as a mister because a lot of people assume that it's a male but it's okay 
I think I could rock it. All right, let me speed this up, you guys. The last three names. Okay, so these next two that I'm going to bring up to you guys, like, we're so, so close to naming our baby these names. Um, there really is nothing that we don't like about them. We just really like the name that we decided on a little bit better. So that is Carter. Cutest baby name ever. Grown man, I could definitely see with the name Carter. I love it. I want another baby. I want, <laughs> I want a ton of babies so I can use these names. Like, how cute is that, you guys? Next name is Troy. And when we first found out that we were pregnant, this was the first name that we brought up. And for a solid, I would say, first month of my pregnancy, we were like, yes, it's going to be Troy. It's going to be Troy. And then I just felt like as time went on, he just didn't feel like a Troy. And seeing the sonogram and seeing his face, he just does not look like a Troy to me. But I still absolutely love the name. And the last name that is on my list is Hector. And that's because that is my husband's name. Now, I will say, and he's probably going to watch this video and get mad at me, it's not like a name that I would necessarily pick out. Um, with that being said, his father's name is also Hector, and two of his brother's names are also Hector. And it's so crazy, you guys, like all of them are Hectors. Everyone in the family is Hector. And I'm like, there's enough Hectors, okay? <laughs> However, I will say because, you know, I'm the type of person that's all about compromise and being fair, so our baby is actually due 10 days after my husband's birthday. I told him that if our baby for some reason comes on your birthday, the 24 hours that it is your birthday, we can go ahead and name him Hector Jr. And I think we'll probably just call him Jr. Um, I don't even ever call my husband Hector. He's heck. Pretty much everybody calls him by heck. But I just feel like, uh, I don't know, that's like the name that I associate with him. I can't see calling my son that as well. So yeah, he would definitely be a junior, but again, that's only if my baby decides to come the 24 hours that it is Hector's birthday. So yeah, with that being said, those are all the names that we still love. Um, they might be used sometime in the future, maybe not. I feel like baby girl names are so much easier to pick out and <laughs> you guys should see my list of baby girl names because right in the beginning when I first found out I was pregnant, we didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl. So I had a super long list of girl names and then this is so short compared to my girl names. And I don't want to give you guys the girl names because I feel like I already know there's two names that are my top, top, top. But anyway, another topic for another video. I'm pretty sure that's everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit on the long side. Um, since I'm not in front of the camera as often as I would like to be, when I do have the time to sit down and film for you guys, I feel like I don't even want it to end. I am planning on doing some Instagram live um, broadcast, I guess, so I could talk to you guys live and maybe have some of you guys co-host because I just miss you all so much and it feels so good to be back in front of the camera. So many of you guys have told me that you have watched me for years and years when I was still living at my parents house like eight nine years ago which just really truly touches me. I know that I'm just not the typical YouTuber. Um, everybody has stuff going on in their lives but I feel like I seriously have some like groundbreaking stuff going on sometimes that's just not the norm for somebody that turning 30 or that is 30 I just feel like there has has been a lot of things that life has thrown at me and sometimes those things are just hard to deal with in front of a camera with so many people watching and asking questions but I do feel like I am in such a wonderful place in my life again I cannot believe that baby boy will be here in 10 weeks I'm gonna show you guys a little bump a bump date let me see let me pull my shirt up okay that's not working I'm not even in frame and if you guys see my bed looking weird over here, that's because I have my pregnancy pillow, which I cannot live without Ugh, right now on my bed. Hold on. This is my little baby bump. Like I said, seven months pregnant and very out of breath. And baby boy is going to be here so soon. Oh my gosh. So excited, you guys. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Please make sure to leave your requests down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Follow me on Instagram if you are not already. I love you all and I'm going to try my absolute hardest to hop on here a lot sooner and not let another month pass by because by that time we're going to be over eight months pregnant and yeah, 
it's gonna get real. Well, it's been real, but <laughs> I love you all with my entire heart, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.